Hey y'all, I wanted to film this really quick. I need to get out the door to my little brother's hockey game. For God knows why, it's scheduled at a rink that's like an hour and a half away from my house. So anyways, I do want to get out there undefeated so far this year. I'm so excited. Anyways, I picked up Sugar Pill Trinket when they restocked like last week or something like that. It is already sold out again, but they seem to restock it somewhat often. I have been lusting after this for a while since I saw that IMAX exclusive. I will say I'm really disappointed though in the packaging. It doesn't have the sexy little mermaid. Like that mermaid had me questioning my sexual orientation. It was so freaking hot. Anyways, I mean, I guess maybe that was only for that first limited edition release, um, but I didn't see anywhere on the website or anything that said it wasn't going to be in that packaging anymore. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention or something like that, but I, I fully expected for it to come with the Little Mermaid on it and it didn't. Anyways, I've just heard such good things about it. It seemed like such a beautiful color, like so unique with that gold sparkle in it that I wanted to get one of my own. I will say it's a lot darker than I anticipated and a lot of people are saying that when I started looking up reviews and videos. They do say on the website, you know, it's not always going to look like these swatches but it seems like across the board the swatches are like way way lighter than it looks on everyone this is 18 bucks I do think the formula is really good though I wish they would expand this range so far they've only released two and the smell is delicious like oh my god it's delicious it's like a creamsicle scent which I'm usually not that big of a fan of I don't care for vanilla and typically creamsicle has kind of a vanilla tone to it it doesn't smell like that it's just like rich citrusy with almost like a little bit of a hint of chocolate in it it's really good so I wanted to give it one full day of testing. I did try it on my lips once before and it, it wasn't kind of that impressed, but I've exfoliated, I've moisturized very well, and I wanted to give it, I want to give it a full shot, full day of wear. Um, it is absolutely beautiful packaging, whether or not it has the Little Mermaid on it or not. It's just very cute. It is the same bottle as the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, so they obviously order from the same supplier, which is really nice packaging. I'll give it that much. Very nice. A lot nicer than than the ColourPop ones. You're definitely, you're getting more for your money. Sugar Pill is cruelty free and I believe their entire line is vegan. At least the vast majority of it is. I know this lipstick in particular is vegan. They have a lot of vegan options. Their brushes are vegan as well. Those brushes look really nice too. I've kind of been lusting after their crease brush. Um, but yeah, just all like the presentation, everything is just so on point. They do such a good job. Look at this freaking Whoops, look at this box. Like, how cute is that? It makes me not want to throw it away. So let's get into it. I'm going to pull y'all in, do a little bit of lip liner, slap this on, and then we're going to go on about our day. I am going to line a little bit with my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade All Natural. I know with liquid lipsticks, it's not necessarily a requirement to line. I like to because I don't have a very steady hand, um, so I favor lipsticks, first of all, that are user-friendly. ColourPop ones, whew, I mess up with those all the time. Um, but second of all, a lip line there helps to kind of correct and even out my error, so I really appreciate that. packaging absolutely gorgeous trinket on the bottom um, and I did notice that they changed their applicator I've watched like Stephanie Nicole's video from a while back it was a different um, applicator on this it used to be a perfect circle like no indention or anything like that in there very similar to the Sephora concealers um, no like doe foot just a straight circle um, so I did notice they put a little indention in there to collect the product and smooth onto your lips so let's do this top and my bottom lip. Sorry, it's still kind of damp. And you see how deep, oh, it's almost like a little claw. It gets a lot of product on there and very easily smooths it across the surface of your lips. 
it's oh man that is a really beautiful color right off the bat and I will say it's very forgiving I got it a little bit outside the line on this side and I was able to just kind of scrape it off without making a huge mess so this is what it looks like right after application as it dries the glitter comes out more and more um, which is cool I like that I just wish the base color would stay more this color instead of it drying down quite deeper so I actually need to get, Google is telling me to get my butt out of here to arrive on time, which I love that about Google. Um, but it is 1.12 in the afternoon right now. Gonna get in the late start to the day, but we will get a full day of wear out of this and see how it goes. I hope the road sound isn't too loud, but anyways, it is 1.48 right now, and I wanted to go ahead and check in because it's like fully dried down. Um, <laughs> couple of things, so one, my bottom lip is darker than my top lip. Can you tell that? I'll have to see when I'm watching this back, but it is very evident in real life in natural lighting. Second thing is that now that it has dried, my lip line is not even, and that, that frustrates me because I work very, very hard and have to concentrate a lot to steady my hand and get it even. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's especially evident on this corner over here. Can y'all see that? It's like now that it's dried down and like kind of pulled my lips together, um, it's made it uneven. And that is very frustrating for me. Okay, the other thing is that in all my cracks is where the glitter has like concentrated and is really bright. I don't know if you can see it. I need to get in some better lighting too. But so basically I feel like I have highlighter in all of the cracks on my lips. Can you see that? anyways this is what it is looking like I don't know what is it I tried to do like 15 minutes but I think it's more like 20 25 something like that um, but it is fully dried down now so the thing is it's really comfortable it doesn't really feel real dry and stiff on my lips but it looks really dry and stiff in my opinion at least which means I've had this on for about five and a half hours. So not the longest wear test, but I think plenty enough time for me to kind of gauge how I feel about this product. Um, I did have lunch, drank everything through a straw, but I did eat some tacos and so that kind of, you know, dissipates the color. I'm pretty much left with, I will say, I mean, there is a lot of product left on my lips, um, but I'm left with kind of a pink stain and a crap ton of gold glitter. And that's where I'm kind of like, kind of looking a little Halloween costumey. So here we are up close, and as you can see, it is a ton of gold glitter left behind. It's like a, a soft pink stain and a crap ton of gold glitter. I mean, look at that. Kind of looks pretty catching in the light, but in real life, it just looks kind of weird, and it's just not me. It's not, it's not what I'm into. I like the soft glitter at first, but now that it's only glitter left over, I'm not exactly happy about that. I could probably layer it. I know from like Stephanie Nicole's video, she said it layered really well. Um, she also is like so dedicated to these damn videos, like drinks through a straw, eats a croissant with a fork, like hell no. I was like tacos with juice running down my arms and you know. So I guess what I want y'all to understand and pull from this video is that if you haven't been able to get your hands on it or if you just can't justify the price tag on it, um, you're cool. You're really not missing out on that much. You know, I think some people will like it more than other people. Um, I'm kind of right there in the middle. But whoever you are, I mean, there's really no need for a liquid lipstick to be $18. And this isn't anything so incredibly special that you can't make do with something else. Maybe like a matte liquid lipstick you already have and use kind of a glittery pigment or a glitter or something like that to get that kind of effect for some special event. So anyways, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I will see y'all in a couple of days in the next video. And remember, as always, until then, that it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all. Bye.